Hi everyone, and welcome to Ask Adrian. My name is Adrian, and I am the Learning Development Specialist at CompuGen Inc. I will be fielding questions from educators across North America on how to create an inclusive and engaging learning space with students. Today's Ask Adrian question comes from Matthew in Toronto. He is asking about digital reading support for students. Let's explore this together. So find the site you wish to have read to you. I'm gonna be using Reading Vine. Right click anywhere on the page and select Read Aloud. Elizabeth Drake. Brian loved to play video games. Every day after school, he walked home quickly and did his chores right away. The Read Aloud toolbar appears at the top of the page. Each line will be highlighted in blue with the current word being red highlighted in yellow for easy tracking. While read aloud is occurring, you can move to previous paragraphs, pause, or skip paragraphs. You're able to change the voice and speed of the reader by selecting voice settings in the read aloud toolbar. I'm going to try this now so you can see. Here, I'm able to click read aloud. He ate his snack while he finished his homework to save time. Change my as speed. As was, was finished with his school assignments. Brian was free to play video game. And also change my voice. Games until supper time. Brian, Brian sat down on the sofa in front of the television and turned on his video game console. Matthew, besides having access to read aloud, Reading can be made easier when Reading View is available on web pages being viewed within the Edge browser. How do you know when Reading View is available? Easily. When the book within the web address field is outlined in bold black, simply click on the book. The website becomes clutter free of ads and other messages, allowing focus on the excerpt or article. A true distraction free reading opportunity. Let's take a look at this. Launching once again your Microsoft Edge browser, we're going to be looking at an article within the website Teaching Kids News. I will find the article that I want read to me. In this case, we're looking at the $10 bill. Here is my bold black book. Click on it. Once in this mode, the outline of the book turns blue and a toolbar appears at the top of my page. You're able to change the text size and the page themes with reference to color. Additionally, you are able to access grammar tools under the learning tools. This is where I am able to break words into syllables to improve reading and writing skills. As well, I'm able to highlight parts of speech specifically nouns, verbs, and adjectives. Students spend a lot of energy decoding when reading, which makes it difficult to focus on content. The immersive reader tool found only within the Microsoft Edge browser, no other browser supports this assistive technology, helps make reading more enjoyable while providing support tools. Matthew, thanks for asking. I know these tools will be helpful for your students for both the reading and the writing process. If you have a question for me, please forward it to learningspecialist at compugen.com. Until next time, thanks for watching.